unsere Liebe. Unsere Mannschaft. Unser Stolz. Unser Verein. Union Berlin. Union Berlin. Football took hold very, very quickly in Berlin. It was a football powerhouse. Since the building of the wall in 1961, BFC Dynamo went on to become the most successful football team, apart from Bayern Munich, in the history of post-war Germany. But that was in communist East Germany, so it's not talked about as much. In East Berlin, before Union was founded, we already had two other clubs. The one connected with the military, that was Vorwärts Berlin. Other one connected with the police, especially the secret police, that was Dynamo Berlin. And um, a decision was made that there should be another club for the working people of East Berlin. So Union was founded. They're very proud of those working class roots. They call themselves the Schlosser Jungs. So they're, they're the sons of workers. During the Cold War, they pride themselves about their anti-establishment nature. It's not necessarily the be-all and end-all. More important is they're a club that have represented their people. Even today, many people don't like the politics. People want to live their own lives. As long as they are free to do their things, they feel alive, I think. And that was the kind of a way in East Berlin to feel strong and young and wild and Union gave home to this. Certainly, they are a rebellious football club in a rebellious city. There's great stories about them chanting Die Mauer muss weg, the, the wall must go, and you'd chant that at free kicks, because that was the only chance you could chant that in East Germany. There was not explicit political opposition, but if you were just a normal guy, a young guy who wanted to feel freedom to, to, to live your life, then you went to a normal. Suddenly, the way west was over. It was a powerful movement in the streets. People felt strong, people felt alive and felt it is possible to change the world now. Thousands of people are pouring over to take a look at a West. In some cases, their first look, and the elation is enormous. You know, all the hardships of East Germany and the, and the reunification in 1990 as well, Union's been a, a sort of centre point for people in, in Berlin. It's got a very particular personality. It was a cheerfully anarchic night. Without the fall of the Berlin Wall, we, we couldn't play Bundesliga. I kind of rediscovered my own roots here in Berlin. The Union is one of those rare islands where it's actually welcome, you know, to drink beer, to behave like a little bit uh, uncontrolled, to support uh, the team like in a really creative, loud manner. It should be really normal to go to a stadium, to stand at terraces, have a beer with your friends and support your local team. Die Leute Werte leben, die für sie wichtig sind und, und ich, ich, ich glaube am Schluss geht das dann eben in die Richtung Herzensverein. Ich habe jetzt schon bei ein paar Vereinen gespielt, aber zwischen den Fans von Union und den Spielern ist es unglaublich eng. Du hast im Trainingslager hast du Grillabende oder Essen mit den Fans, wo du Arm in Arm liegst mit deinen Fans. Without the fans, this club are nothing. And the unique thing about Union is that the club recognizes the fans are integral. There have been periods in the club's history where they have been on the brink of bankruptcy. Bleed for Union was one of those campaigns created by fans when they felt that their, their club is in danger. We need money, we are not rich people ourselves, so we cannot just donate money. But what we can do is give blood, receive money for that, give this to the club. This was a very strong symbol what people are ready to give. And they had something like two and a half thousand fans came forward and donated 140,000 hours of work to basically help build the club. To put it in context, there was a lot of unemployment in East Germany at the time. Um, they had people like teachers, bankers, all sorts turn up to basically help out. 
not because they expected something back. They just did it because it's their stadium, it's their club, it's their team. We're doing things together. There's no the club, the team, the fans. They are not separate. It's it's just one. Von der Geschichte her, wenn man denkt, wenn man jetzt hier aus dem Fenster schaut, dass die Fans mitgeholfen haben, das Stadion auch zu bauen, ist das schon sehr außergewöhnlich. It's built by them. It's built by them. The story of the, the fans themselves mixing the concrete, laying the steel. And you can feel that when you go there. It belongs to them. It belongs to nobody else. It belongs to them. About 15 years ago, a group of fans were so fed up with losing their last game before Christmas, they basically just went home and sobbed. Then they realised they hadn't actually wished to have Christmas. So they broke into the stadium with some blue vine and some biscuits and sang some Christmas carols in the halfway line. Like so many things here, it started because a handful of fans had an idea, a crazy, strange idea. It's reached a point now where 20,000 people a year will go into the Alta Fusterai Every man's got a candle, every woman's got a song sheet. It's one of the most astonishingly beautiful scenes I've ever seen in my entire life. Bringing the people again together in the home of football, even without a match. <laughs> in my dreams, I... I had this idea that we could one time reach the Bundesliga and me personally, I was taught how, how it might feel and what, we'd, what we would do then. When we made a promotion, the supporters, uh, they ran into the pitch and uh, they pulled every clothes from me, my shirt, my uh, everything. Mature men crying, the pitch invasion, everybody just hugging each other, although they didn't know each other, stumbling home at five o'clock in the morning. That was almost surreal for a club like Union, who have always been the underdogs of the league. If I see the pictures of these days, I, I start crying immediately. You know, it's, it's like it, it's so great to see what power football still has. Do you forget what football can mean until you come to a club like this and you suddenly realise actually what it what it does mean? If you walk outside of the stadium, there's a small tunnel where you can actually buy kind of remembrance plates for people um, who deceased, which is always very moving. I can remember that there were so many people crying and touching those tiles because they wanted to be with their loved ones. The first ever game in the Bundesliga, we brought our dead friends and relatives into the stadium on a like on posters. The family feeling is expressed throughout the stadium and it was a really good idea to have pictures of people who deceased in the last years who couldn't actually make it to the first Bundesliga game to honor them um, in a way with these uh, with these posters. Also, ich glaube mehr Emotionen geht ja nicht. Ich habe die zahlreichen Plakate gesehen. Und ich glaube, auch das beschreibt ja ein bisschen, dass die, die das nicht mehr miterleben konnten, dass man die eben nicht vergisst. When I come here to the Union Tanke and drink a beer uh, before the game and have a Bratwurst, I know I will meet people here that I know. It's a sense of familiarity that you have. For me, it's like coming home and to um, see all my friends, family. It's like a walk through the forest. You feel a sense of freedom and then through the trees you can see the stadium. When you hear the sound of the stadium, I smile all the time. And there's always the first glimpse of the green, you know, that really, really excites me. The fans, the crowd makes the music. We want to sing, we want to celebrate. It doesn't matter if we lose the game. It doesn't matter because we love our team. Everything that I've ever seen at this club has made me very, very proud every single time. We have a saying, we don't go to football, we go to Union. 
we didn't win a lot of trophies. And so you have cope with that feeling of losing and suffering. That actually makes Union a symbol for life, I would say. Unsere Liebe. Unsere Mannschaft. Unser Stolz. Unser Verein. Union Berlin. Union Berlin. Union Berlin.